Amazon has made everyone question their Lord of the Rings series and if they can do justice to the amazing work they've got the rights to, but they so far have failed to impress us. The showrunners clearly don't know the material they're working with. Actors are admitting their characters' focal points are activism or simply representation. And now we've found out that Amazon originally asked Peter Jackson himself to give his input on the Rings of Power, yet they ended up bailing on him, refusing to send him the scripts once they were done. I have a bunch of things to show off, but before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or support the channel via YouTube memberships. All of the links are in the description and of course I do really appreciate all of the support. So, this article says the Lord of the Rings director Peter Jackson reveals Amazon asked for his help on the Rings of Power, but then ignored him. They said they'd send over scripts and they never showed up. The Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit trilogy's director, Peter Jackson, has revealed that Amazon did at one point ask for his expertise on adapting Tolkien's classic work with the Rings of Power, but eventually chose to go in a different direction and failed to tell him they were doing so. You would think that once you have started directly communicating with someone, once you've gotten their attention, you would at least have the respect to tell them, hey, we're going in a different direction, you know, we've decided we want to do this on our own, we're not going to work with you. You'd think they'd at least have the guts to do that, but they didn't. It says that Jackson revealed the backstory of his involvement with Amazon's upcoming series in a pair of recent podcast appearances. First appearing on the Hollywood Reporter's Awards Chatter podcast, Jackson told the host, Scott Feinberg, that Amazon asked me if I wanted to be involved, and I said that's an impossible question to answer without seeing a script. So they said as soon as we get the first couple of scripts, we'll send them to you, and then the scripts never showed up. That's the last thing I heard, which is fine. No complaints at all. Now, over the years, people have had problems with Peter Jackson's movie simply because him and his team did stretch source material. Look at the Hobbit films. There should have only been two of them at most with the amount of material there was, and it was made into a full trilogy. And even things in the Lord of the Rings films weren't 100% accurate to source material, but he overall gave us amazing cinematic experiences, and a lot of people were very disappointed that he wasn't working on the Rings of Power. I didn't instantly think it was going to be this large of a disaster when he wasn't a part of it, but now as we're close to release, the problems have piled up. To think that they would reach out to him and then blow him off is absolutely mind-boggling. I just cannot believe that they would have the guts to turn down potentially working with Peter Jackson, because now, of course, the Peter Jackson films are being directly compared to the Rings of Power, and they should have known this was going to happen. And of course, everyone is going, wow, the Peter Jackson movies seem way better. I mean, the Rings of Power hasn't released yet, so we can't fully judge the product, but as soon as it all is out, those direct comparisons are going to be flying around. And... I think that people are going to still side with the Peter Jackson creations. It says later, joining THR writer Kim Masters on her The Business podcast, he reiterated about four or five years ago they asked if I would be interested in it, so I said, have you got the scripts yet? Because I know how hard the scripts were to write for the films, and I didn't know the people writing the scripts. They said, oh no, we haven't got the scripts yet, but as soon as we do, we'll send them to you. So I was waiting for the scripts to arrive, and they never did. Now, of course, he says that, oh, it's really not that big of a a deal. He says, you know, that was the last thing I heard, which is fine. No complaints at all. He's trying to brush it off as it's really not that important. They didn't want to work with me at the end of the day, so it doesn't really matter to me. But I'm sure that he was 
probably a little bit ticked off at them. I mean, when you are someone the size of Peter Jackson and you've worked with the source material in the past and suddenly a company reaches out and says, hey, do you want to be part of this project? And then you end up bailing on them and you don't even respond to them or update them at all. Yeah, I would feel a bit burned by that. It says, yet despite this ghosting by Amazon, he said he would still be watching the Rings of Power. I don't think that he wants to slight Amazon or the Rings of Power, primarily because it's still going to be tied in in ways with his work. Um, because again, it's still the same universe. It's still a lot of the same characters, so he doesn't want to completely go against it. I'm not the sort of guy who wishes ill will. Filmmaking is hard enough. If somebody makes a good film or TV show, it's something to celebrate. And, of course, we quickly found out that an Amazon studio spokesperson spoke up almost immediately. In pursuing the rights for our show, we were obligated to keep the series distinct and separate from the films. We have the utmost respect for Peter Jackson and the Lord of the Rings films and are thrilled that he is looking forward to watching The Rings of Power. What I find suspicious is that they reached out and asked him if he wanted to be part of the project and see the scripts. Yet now they're saying, well, it had to do with the rights. It's nothing personal. Why offer them if you couldn't in the first place? It just doesn't make a lot of sense unless this is just an excuse so that people don't hate them more, which could be very possible because Lord of the Rings fans are really furious at the Rings of Power right now. It says, however, according to THR sources, this is far from the full story as in addition to these reasons, Amazon reportedly ceased communications with him under specific direction from the Tolkien estate as of writing the specific reasons as to why the estate wanted him far away from the rings of power remains unknown. And again, this is not confirmed. This is just a rumor according to this specific outlet's sources. And if this is the case, yeah, I just don't... I don't understand why. Maybe, again, because he didn't 100% follow source material with the previous movies, but at the same time, they are also not doing that in the Rings of Power. Maybe they expected Amazon to do a little bit better. Maybe they won't even want to work with Amazon again in the future, and they will not be as cooperative as they were with this first season, but... As of right now, that is just a rumor, but I just cannot believe that Amazon ghosted Peter Jackson. They had a chance to potentially work with him on the Rings of Power to be able to slap his name on this project to get his creative insight for this source material and this universe that he has worked with many times, and they begged him for his help and then just outright ignored him. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.